I was recently asked about how to employ the concept of randomness and apply that to MIDI parts in Cubase to come up with fresh and interesting ideas. Let's take a look at a couple of tips and tricks. Let's say I'll start off and I have one MIDI node that lasts for eight measures. And I may want to split this up into a, a series of MIDI notes with the same rhythmic interval. And if we go into the MIDI editor, what we could do is just say, we want to zoom in and hold down the right mouse button to access the tools. And we will go and hold down the option key and I'm going to access the scissors tool. And now that I click while holding down alter option on the scissors tool, we can now split our notes. So we'll listen to it. So I took one note, split it into 16th notes. Now to employ randomness, there's two different areas. One could be within the inspector and the other within the logical editor. So I'm gonna right click in the inspector and we're gonna make sure that the MIDI modifiers is active, which may be disabled by default. So hover over that and then we could open up the MIDI modifiers tab. Here we have two different fields that could be randomized. So let's go ahead and just take the position of the notes and I'll just make it a little earlier. So as we play back, it's gonna change the rhythmic characteristic. Or let's say next I want to randomize pitch and I could go up, let's say one octave. So we have this series of the same pitch 16th note now playing back through our MIDI modifiers, randomizing the position and pitch. But the actual part hasn't changed. If I wanted to embed or apply these random elements directly into the part, all I would have to do is we could go to your MIDI menu and choose freeze MIDI modifiers. And we could see that the part has now been written. We could now go to other types of random functions and apply those as well to this written part. Now, if I wanted to turn these off and use a different method of using the logical editor, what we could do is take a look at our MIDI parts here and let's open the logical editor by going to the MIDI menu to logical editor. And the logical editor, once you get your head wrapped around it, is very powerful. So what we want to do is to choose to transform and at the top we choose what MIDI message we want to transform and in the bottom area here how we want to transform that. So I'm going to choose to have type is equal to a MIDI note message. And now what I want to do is we're going to say value one. So a MIDI note message value one will be pitch value two will be down velocity and value three will be release velocity. So while I may want it random, I may not want it to be random and out of key. So I'm going to say, we're going to say value one and we're going to say transpose to scale and I want this to be transposed to D major. So now when we apply randomness, it will still keep it within the scale. So now what I want to do is to take value one, the pitch, and we're gonna set random values between, let's say D3 and D4. So now when I hit apply, we'll have all of these notes and everything will be within the key of D major. Now if I wanted to apply random functions to position or to length, again, I would just say we're gonna set random values between zero and let's say 240. And now I could apply that. And if I wanted to now adjust 
the value two, which would be velocity, we could set random values between, let's say, 40 and 120. And again, when I hit apply, it's gonna apply these different changes accordingly. So as we do this, So you can see that using kind of random elements from originally what was one single note using either the MIDI modifiers for the random elements there from the inspector or using the logical editor, you can come up with some very interesting results to make your MIDI information fresh and exciting. If you like this demonstration, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.